Hi guys, guess where I'm at? I'm at the airport. Yes, I'm there to welcome you. Nah, just kidding. My son's coming in. Yes, NJ will be here for two months and I am so excited. Can you tell? I'm giving you a whole tour of the airport here in the Bahamas. And I'm excited to see the tourists. Yes, because that means the economy is on the way up, 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 up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, here's NJ. <laughs> you should see him. I don't pull up. I am. I pull up. I'm waiting for this car. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> Shelly said, Don't feel too bad. I was an hour and a half late for her. <laughs> We've got my oldest son, not my oldest child, but my oldest son visiting with me. And yes, I have a new do. <laughs> do you like it? I hope you do. This is going to be my new 55 look. I have a birthday today. I'm singing happy birthday to myself. I sure am. It's the veggie dance as we welcome the one and only NJ. Woo! <laughs> so we're happy to have him here with us today all the way from New York, and of course he's in college in Alabama. So talk to my audience and say hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my favorite oldest son, because I got another younger son, so I gotta say my favorite older son, right? Because you know, if I say my favorite son, I can get in big trouble. So I can have one favorite daughter, because I only got one favorite daughter. But you know, yes, so how you doing? Good. You happy to be home? Good. Yeah. What's the most favorite part of being home? The food. The food. He is a foodie, can you tell? The lawyer? <laughs> yeah, so have you learned the veggie dance yet? No. <laughs> you see my face, right? <laughs> it's the veggie dance, hey. The, you're not gonna do the veggie nope. dance? No, nope. no. Nope. That's the opening act. Mm. <laughs> what kind of madness is this? <laughs> he is boring. <laughs> if you think he's boring, just put some thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. Boring. Anyway, what's your name? My name is Neil. Okay. All right, Neil. So what you studying in college? Um, I am studying right now. I'm studying bio to mm -hmm. become a dentist. And I am at Oakwood, if you can't tell. Oh, you got on his <laughs> Oakwood shirt. He's an Oakwoodite. Yeah. That's how you say that? Yeah. All right, then. All mm -hmm. right, Bill. That's good stuff. We're happy to have you. So we're doing a dish today that he loves because he's home. He just got here. And I'm like, okay, we got to do something that he loves. I think he likes chili dogs. Mm -hmm. But when I text his other brother to say, uh, what kind of food does he like? He says, to be honest, TBH. I'm like, what's TBH? To be honest, anything. <laughs> okay, so we have a chili recipe and it's on your screen right now. And this is a recipe that I don't make very often because of whatever but I'm doing it today. We do serve chili dogs at something better. And of course, if you're in our area this coming Wednesday, stop on by. We have chili dog Wednesday, almost every other Wednesday, but not every Wednesday. Okay, so our recipe's on the screen and we've got in our recipe, we have onions, garlic, green pepper, green, um, green onions or scallion, we call them in the Bahamas. We have our beans, we have uh, TVP, remember I introduced you to TVP in our meatloaf recipe. Textured vegetable protein. We have some tomato paste, we have some tomato sauce, and of course our special seasonings, which are garlic powder, onion powder if you have, some cumin. Cumin is like one of the main ingredients in chili, all right? Then we have chili powder. We have, of course, my sidekick. Y'all know my sidekick is by now. Everybody should be saying in the, in the, in the box below, tell me who's my sidekick, okay? And then, of course, you have a little paprika. Then if we need it, we're going to put a little chicken-style seasoning, my favorite, McKay's chicken-style seasoning. You guys should be telling them already. You need to be sponsoring Miss Marley because she be pushing you guys up big time. I love the McKay's, so you don't have to sponsor me. It's really a good product. And then our chili dogs are going to be made with Big Frank's. It's a vegan hot dog. And so, but we're going to do our chili first. So let's just go in the order in which is most important. So, MJ, grab a spoon. 
or a yeah that would be good let's turn on our stove we're gonna start and get our onions in there until they're caramelized we have another guest coming to another show so hold on okay so and Jay's going to get started putting in our onions, our garlic, and our green peppers into our, our skillet. And I'm going to put a little um, coconut oil. You know, coconut oil doesn't smoke, so it's a really good oil for a frying. Um, gar uh, what's the other oil? Um, olive oil. Mm, my brain went on tired just now. <laughs> okay, so let's turn the stove on high. And then you're going to pop in those garlic garlic um, things, those chopped garlic. Okay. All right. So I'll do a little insert video. Get all that garlic. NJ's dad loves garlic. <laughs> He'll tell you everything tastes great with garlic. <laughs> except dessert <laughs> except dessert so we let those cook down and like caramelize a little so that the flavors will really burst through and then we're going to add our TVP to that recipe no then we add our mm, tomato paste uh, tomato paste all right so this recipe is one that um, we, we're mimicking because Loma Linda has a product Lo Melinda has a product, um, a chili product um, in the can. And you know, I, I prefer to just not use the can. So as far as possible, I try to just make it myself. So we're gonna see if it tastes anywhere close to the Lo Melinda one, okay? We're gonna try. All right, so NJ's home for the summer and I'm so happy that he's here. Um, you know, they moved away from Nassau, how many years ago? About Seven, six, seven, years. six seven. seven years ago, eight, yeah, around there. Yeah. yeah, that was kind of a lonely time for me, but I'm happy to know that he's here for the holidays. And it's my birthday. He came in yesterday, and he came in time for my birthday. I'm celebrating all the time. <laughs> all right, so then we let those cook down. I'm going to do another insert, and then we can add our tomato paste. It doesn't take too long to cook. If you want to sweat it and make it go faster, you can always cover your pot. That way it really, really intensifies it and gets it quick. These skillets are really, really quick. I ain't advertise them for the people like that, but I'm telling y'all, this is really, really quick and I like them. But it's not the best pot to cook in, you know, because we really should be cooking in stainless steel or something of that nature. All right, let's bring that pot over so we can find space for our spoon. You know, our space is always so small. That's okay. All right. Okay, great. So our recipe, like I said before, is on the screen, maybe again, hopefully it is, and then you can have a look at it. All right, so I am going to use the hoagie breads to put our hot dog on, and then our cheese recipe today, I have um, the link, I'm hoping it's up on my, as we're talking, I'm gonna put, I'll insert the link so you can go and get the cheese recipe. Because it don't make sense to make the cheese recipe again if you already know how or that we already have that recipe in place. So just go to that link, you can hit that link above and it will take you to our cheese recipe that we're gonna use on top of our cheese. It's called a melty cheese. And you can use that cheese for, for nachos and for chili and for pizza and for lasagna and yum, 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 okay? Okay, great, ooh, they ready, ooh, they ready. Okay, good, so now you can add that. Add our tomato paste. Yeah, ain't nothing like sweating it. You know, it really works fast. This is why I use this spoon. Put the tomato paste in there and then cook that down a little. Then we're going to add our TVP, textured vegetable protein, unflavored, that's all unflavored um, soy. It's just nothing, no flavors in there, no additives in there, no MSGs in there. A lot of those sometimes have those added flavors and added stuff, and we don't want that necessarily in our food. Because it's not really healthy, it's not best for us, right? So do you love chili dogs? Yeah. You like chili dogs? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Do you miss having chili dogs? Have you had, did you have it at school? They serve it, yeah, they serve it in the cafeteria sometimes, because they, 
they try and they're on a healthy kick on campus, so they're trying to be. They don't even allow you to order meat on the campus. So. Woo! Girl Oakwood! Yay! Woo! That's one for Oakwood! What you talking about? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, they don't, they don't allow you to order Oh, meat does that chili dog taste as good as mine? No. <laughs> Hello. If, need the mom, problem is, is if y'all need mama in the kitchen. You have to serve too many students. Yeah, it's a lot. So it's hard to get good flavor with. Well, if you serve a lot of people at something better, we get good flavor. You're serving, you're serving 400 yeah. kids in, in, That's a lot of children. in an That's hour. Right. You know, really don't have a lot of time. That's a lot. Okay, so then I'm going to add my TVP. I think you can have cooked down enough. You can pretend it is. <laughs> All right. I'm going to add some water. Yeah, then we're going to add some water. So Oakwood, you're on the right track. We're so proud of you. I'm proud of you. This Bahama mama, she is proud of y'all. Hello. Awesome. One day I'll get to visit Oakwood again. Maybe when he graduates, you know, I'll be there. All right. So now it's one part TVP, two parts water. All right. Because it has to swell. It has to bulk up and taste good, right? All right. Just one part TDP, two parts water. But the food overall at Oakland is pretty good. It's all right. It's all right. Now, when I went to college, I won't tell you guys where I went to school, though many of you already know. Hmm. Boy, listen. My first year in college, when I came back home to visit, oh my goodness. My cousins were like, you can't go back? Rosita, you can't let her go back? You see how skinny she is? She's lost too much weight. And they were like frantic. And I was so happy I had lost weight, but I could not eat the food. Be not because the food was bad. It was just because I was coming from a home where my dad cooked all the meals. And I was spurled. I was spurl. Mm -hmm. We say in the Bahamas, we were spurl. <laughs> and I had never eaten out like that. He cooked everything. My dad was this great chef, you know. So I tell you, oh, but my dad, I always talk about him. But honestly, I just wasn't used to that. I just wasn't used to it. You know, any seasonals to it now? The question is, do you add any seasonings to your pot now? No. We wait till the TVP is fully hydrated and then I add my seasonings. I find that, for me anyhow, many people do it differently, but for me I find it rehydrates quicker without the added salt. So anyhow, we can add seasonings like paprika and cumin and what have you. Ooh. So does it work better? Uh, how could I forget the cumin? The cumin was supposed to cook down anyway. Does it work better when you cover it like this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to add some cumin. I should have added the cumin. Uh, I should have cooked it down. Y'all forgive us. All right, we're going to pretend it is, eh? Cumin is like one of the main ingredients in chili, but you don't want to add too much because you add too much cumin and then what happens is the cumin overpowers the dish, but you want that flavor, right? Then we can probably add some chili powder, which I have never used chili powder, to be very honest. I always just make up my stuff from cumin and paprika and garlic. But I went to the store just now, my neighborhood store, the one I introduced you guys to a couple weeks ago. And he had some on the shelf and I was like, let me just try it. So I'm just trying to get that authentic chili taste. So, hmm, don't have much of a smell. I don't know what all in there. Yes, I do. I did read the ingredients and it was pretty safe. All right. All right, and of course we'll add as needed, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we'll add some paprika, because we have that smoky flavor. I can put that away, because I know we don't need too much more of that. And I do like garlic, so I did add lots of garlic seeds. Um, we had like, I had like six cloves of garlic, crushed garlic, but it don't hurt to add a little more powder. It don't hurt, just don't hurt. All right, we'll put that back up there. Awesome. So Oakwood says no meat on campus. No. Nope. But well, we could, we used to sneak and carry meat on campus. Yeah, they still, you know, we you're obviously not going to be able to check everything all the students bring. Hold on. You know what we used to do? We had a, in, in Jamaica where I went to school, and that's still y'all, that's good, right? In Jamaica where I went to school, um, we used to call our bags scandal because nobody could see in the bag. So the bag was a black plastic bag. <laughs> yeah. And so nobody could see what was in our bag. So we say, what's happening that scandal? And of course, everybody knew there was some contraband in there, something that we were not supposed to be having. But guess what? We have a glass, okay? And um, then I would be cooking on dorm, and we're not supposed to cook in the mm -hmm. dorm. 
But you're a D, you're a dean's assistant at school. I'm an RA. You're an RA. Yeah. yeah what they call what's an RA? This is John Collar back in the day. Hold on, he's an <laughs> RA. I was an, I was a dean's assistant. It's the same thing. What's an RA? An RA is somebody who makes sure all the guys, uh, you know, get in room on time, make sure their cleanliness check is there. Uh, if there's any fights or anything like that, mm. I'm supposed to be the person that gets up out of my bed and stop it. Um, have you had fights? No, no. We have most of the guys behave um, pretty well. Um, you know, if anybody's using drugs or anything like that, that's it's my job to go and find the person if I can smell anything in the hallway or anything like that. That's the job. Have you had any of that? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> we don't want to know. Keep keep Oakwood clean. Hallelujah. Yes. Oakwood's a great college. <laughs> Nothing like that happens on our campuses. Mm. Mm -mm, we are saints. Hello. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Sure. Yes, sure. we are. Yes, we sure. are. Of course we are. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah uh huh. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right, T. T's on. We have little Tiana. She's on our. She's doing a. She's doing a FaceTime with us. You guys can't see her, but she'll be here in July, and you get to meet her on one of my shows. Well, I'm happy that you're an RA. You know, I was also an RA, but we called the dean's assistant. And um, during that time, I used to have these students who sneak out at night. I remember one time yeah, I was out. I was. Well, why does this cook? I tell you a story. So I'm washing my clothes, and it was dark outside, and I could feel the presence of someone. You know, and you could feel the presence. And I said, Jesus, my, I lift my head and I said, somebody's here. And I was the only one out there washing my clothes. This is like five o'clock in the morning. You know, Jamaica was a safe place in, in, at my school. As a matter of fact, I think it's still a safe place at my school. And I was washing. <laughs> it is. My <laughs> name laughing. And I was washing and I felt like somebody was there. And I looked up and there was one of my, there were, there was, were, were, there was, <laughs> One of my students, she was she was coming back from party. I was like, "Girl, what you doing out here?" And she was, I was, I was, I was responsible for because I was mm -hmm. the RA for the high school students. I know my dean is like, "Oh, Marlene, you never told me that story." I know Dean, Dean, what's her name? Dean Scarlett. Don't be, don't beat me, okay? But I was like, "What you doing out here?" And she was like, "Oh, I'm partying." I said, "Girl, you crazy?" I said, "You could have gotten my job." I was like, "You could have been dead. Something wrong with you?" And so I was like, "Oh, but you know." Those are just things that we do as young people. We're just staring and we don't think and all that good stuff. But nevertheless, I got through it. <laughs> I got through it. And I'm so grateful. So, yeah, being a dean, is, I like. I liked it. As a matter of fact, I think I, I always thought I'd make a great dean. And I always thought of me going to one of the colleges and being a it's dean. It's a very for stressful one of, job. Though. Oh, I'm sure it is. Very. But I think I'm pretty good with young people. I don't know. That's just, that's just me. I just always thought I was. I don't know if I am, but I just thought I was. So yeah, you know, that's just a little side thing. But anyway, we're back to our story on this chili chili um. We were waiting for our TVP to rehydrate. Um, so the TVP should be rehydrated now, and then we're gonna add our kidney beans. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see. All right. Good stuff. It looks rehydrated. You know, it doesn't have any taste, but I'll I'll just. I want to check it. I don't. We can add our beans. We can add our beans. So this is. Oh, hold on. Let's let's show you guys what it looks like. Hold on. Gotta show you what it looks like. Gotta show you what it looks like. Video. Awesome. So you see what it looks like. So then I'm gonna have NJ add the beans. Okay. I call him NJ. Neil Jr. Oh boy. I love me some kidney beans. Kidney beans are hearty, they're full with fiber, they're filled with protein, and quite frankly, what we're about to serve you is gonna be a complete meal if you have a salad to go with it. Yeah. Um, I love chili dogs. I think I have more TVP than chili than kidney beans, but anyway, we're gonna make the best of this. Yeah, and then we're gonna add some tomato sauce, and I like, it could be like enhanced tomato sauce, you know, like you can add like, Things like, um, you can do like a chunky sauce or mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. I like it. All right, and then you need some salt. <laughs> I mean, I want to check the TVP to make sure it's cooked. Let's see. Before we go add in anything else. Let me see, let me see. Mm -hmm. It's cooked, it has no taste. <laughs> Okay. Tastes good. I think I have a little stronger taste. 
this one. Okay, so we have cayenne, that was just a bottle to show for the, so I'm gonna add to my sidekick. Gotta have some, gotta have some cayenne, or, you know, in your chili dogs. Let's put that away. All right, then we're gonna put a little chicken style seasoning because that's my business, because I love me some chicken style. I love chicken style. Chicken style is like really great. And- It's a good alternative for salt. Yes, it is. Then I'm gonna add, you know, I, when I started cooking vegetarian, I used, I never used MSG like that, but I was looking for an alternative to kind of bring the recipe together. And you could add something like maple syrup, just a little. I add a little um, honey for those of us who are not uh, vegan, because you know, vegans don't use anything that comes from an animal mm -hmm. and they consider the, um, the bee. <laughs> Let's uh, not laugh at them. That's no, we don't be laughing yeah. at our people. All right, so yeah. Okay, so then I oh, yeah, add a little salt. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm thinking to use a little salt. Yeah. And I'm gonna add, just get the rest of my ingredients. As y'all know, I don't like wasting ingredients. I'm the chef that don't like to do what? Waste not. My mother would say, waste not, want not. I was a wise little lady. All right, let's see if it tastes like anything. Looking for a spoon. We are almost there. Okay. My spoons are here somewhere. So what inspired the recipe? This recipe? Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> well no this what is What inspired most of your recipes? My children. Yeah. This is just us? Yes. I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're a foodie as well. So <laughs> Woo! Twice <Bad>. <laughs> I remember one time I had a guest at my house and he said, Battle, battle. <laughs> battle, battle. Oh my goodness, let's turn it down a little bit. I think I could use probably, let me see, maybe some more flavor. I want to taste it like, it tastes like chili. You know that kind of way? And just mix it up for us. Hold on, let me get a little video insert. This is how I do my little Maybe, inserts. Uh, you wanted to have the flavor of like a grainy-ish type of flavor, like chili does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It looks <laughs> great though. It looks really good. It looks divine. Divineness. I'm gonna soon have my t-shirts printed, guys. They're gonna say divineness. Yes. Sir. All right. Let's try it again. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. <clears throat> I didn't, I, I didn't double dip. This is my spoon as is. I think. <laughs> Y'all know I'd be messing up, right? That is off the chain. Is it good? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's off the, the children say that's off the chisel. Ch 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 what y'all say? What y'all say? say? What y'all say? <laughs> <laughs> say what y'all say? It's lit. It's lit. <laughs> <laughs> It's lit. Hey. Oh, now they say it's busted. Oh, it's busted. Oh, my goodness. This is good. Oh, it's really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tastes as good as Loma Linda. Y'all need me at Loma Linda, guys. Hello? Mm -hmm. I ain't coming now, but it tastes good. All right, good. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a break, and we're going to come back with our cheese, our hot dogs, and our chili, and then we'll show you how we assemble and how we eat it here in the Bahamas. Because remember, I live where you vacation. Bye-bye. Mmm, that's lit. <laughs> that tastes good. That's the best shit they ever made. So this dude then all spat at me, putting the whole can up in there. Anyway, so we just emptied our hot dogs, and I want I'm going to see if I can put an insert of the ingredients so you can see. But I'm not telling you it's number 100%, but it is vegan. It says vegan. It has no animal products in there. Okay, so we have our hot dogs in our pot. I have to find my phone to show you the insert. <laughs> All right. And then we don't season them too much because they come already seasoned. But you can add like things like garlic powder, a little cayenne if you want to. But the, that, that chili is kind of hot. All right. I'll just show you what the hot dogs look like. So the tin comes with two, four, six, eight hot dogs. All right. Eight hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give a little more oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. you like to cook, right? Put some more oil. Mm-mm. So we have our hot dogs there. And we left a little bit of the chili in there. We didn't clean it up thoroughly. All right. Do you like cooking anything? Yeah. Yeah? You cook yeah. a lot? Yeah. Can you cook in the dorm in your quarters? Not necessarily. They have, we have a kitchen. Um, and you're supposed to cook in the kitchen. Okay. The only people who are allowed to cook in the kitchen this year was the RAs. Because, of course, people keep burning food or leaving the kitchen dirty. Uh, we had a situation during the semester with a girl. Because we have a lot of international students. And uh, they believe it's one of the African girls. She was cooking beans or whatever, and she left the beans on the stove and, and went to go take a shower, came back, and the beans were on fire. On fire? <laughs> oh, Lord, oh, All Lord. the girls had to run out the dorm half naked. And stuff. Oh, my it God. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. So you guys had a fire? Not really. It was just a little smoke. Nice. Really. But it was wow. funny. I mean, the girls probably don't think it's funny, but it was funny to the guys. Well, well, we thought it was hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we, did, we could have cooked too when we were in the dorm. We could cook in our kitchen, but Dean Scarlett, Dean Burrell, <laughs> forgive me. I cooked in my room. Y'all, listen, I remember one day Dean Burrell was walking down the hall. <laughs> and she was like, I smell food. I said, me too. It was coming from my room. I, I, I ask your forgiveness. <laughs> Listen, I don't remember. I was cooking macaroni and cheese, regular macaroni and cheese. I was making a nice meatloaf. My, my father made the best meatloaf. One day I'll share that recipe with you with cornflakes and a tin of ready burger. Or you have ever had that recipe? Ooh, off the chain. And then I was cooking. I was cooking all this because it was going to be Sabbath and we wanted some good food. And we had. And I, I even did barbecue chicken. <laughs> anyway. Back to our recipe. So our chili is ready. Our hot Christ. dogs are ready. We have our, <laughs> our hot our buns in the toaster oven warming just for us. And now we're going to reheat our cheese because I want it to be nice and melty. And when we come back, we'll show you the assembled chili dog. The famous chili dog from Something Better today. From our home to yours. So don't go anywhere. Keep it locked on. For you. Something better for Marlene McKinney. Have I asked you to subscribe yet? You know something? Oh, they smell. They smell real. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't make them. So anything I don't make, I don't consider real. <laughs> um, have you subscribed? You know, we are still in the 500s. That's kind of lame. I feel so bad. <laughs> My heart's broken. Can you do me a favor? Please. Share, share, share. Share the link with someone you love, someone you care about. Will you do that now? And I love you forever for it. And you know something? What we're going to be doing is making healthier bodies, healthier people. Because guess why? We are trying to be healthier people. God wants us to be healthy. It's important. Because this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And he can't dwell here when we don't take care of it. So let's do the best we can to take care of it. So when we come back, we'll show you the assembled chili dog. Take care. So we are back. You know, he ain't talking bad about me. I'm going to show you how to assemble. So I have my hot dog in here. <clears throat> and because I just have one hand and my guest decided he can be cameraman. <laughs> I'm going to put my chili in there. Um, look at that. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. And we're not finished yet. I have my cheese, which got a little thick. <laughs> and you just put a little cheese. Yes. That's how we do that. That's something better. So I'm gonna put it right there. Let's see if I can find some toothpicks. I know I have some. Just gotta find them. Let's find the toothpicks in my cupboard. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Somewhere in there. <laughs> For my birthday, someone could come and organize this cupboard and my drawers. Oh wow. Okay, I'll come back to that. Let me just finish assembling. All right, quickly. So we have three hot dogs. Now let's come back to that. Unsight me. <laughs> so why make your own cheese? Why not use real cheese? Well, good question, actually. 
we're using our own cheese because we're making our own cheese because regular cheese has lots of cholesterol lots of fat it's um animal based this is plant based and um you know cheese is one of those foods that really leads to a lot of allergies you have things like um sinus and migraines and yeah so we really try to stay away from regular cheese all right yeah that looks pretty cool guys all right so give us a second we're gonna clean up here because i want to take a nice shot of the finish and then we can... back with our finish <laughs> are you ready now he did not learn the veggie dance and you know guys that's very important to me <laughs> I'm very hurt. That's okay. I'll get over it. We got our finish. Yum. And we made three because we have a guest in our audience. Woo! <laughs> She's on our next show. Don't go nowhere. Watch the next show. Okay, so we have our chili dogs. I hope you guys like it. I hope you like it. I'm going to let him try it first. If it's not warm anymore, I'm going to pop mine into the toaster oven because I do. I don't like cold food. <laughs> Anyone? And then we have these drinks. You want to tell them about those drinks that you really enjoyed coming to? Um, this is what's the name of the company? The company is Polly Made. My cousin. Uh, she makes these vegetarian drinks. <laughs> I guess. They're, They're very good. They're teas. So we have sorrel and hibiscus. Mm -hmm. With ginger. We have ginger lemonade. We have um blueberry blueberry lemonade she has raspberry lemonade she has all these drinks that we sell at something better so he came home and he took one out of the cool leaves and mm, that's pretty good yeah. <laughs> yeah very good so we're gonna try these and see if they're good let's see if they're as good as mm. oh boy mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like? you like messy food? <laughs> <clears throat> this is good. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, subscribe, like, share, and comment. I got a, I got a prep, prep room for it. Subscribe, like, like share, and comment. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you guys. Without you, there'd be no something better today show. So, we need you. Do us a favor, share the video, like our video, and if you don't like it, then fine. I mean, it's your choice. But by all means, remember, it's your body, you gotta take good care of it. Because without it, you're gonna be lame up in somebody's bed, and then people have to take care of you. And that is sorry. Right? That's not good. So, from our home to yours, this is something better today. Marlene McKinney. Baba. Mmm, 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 mmm